My name is uh, Juan Ibanez. I'm the Center Administrator at the Center for Blockchain Technologies of UCL, uh, University College of London. So uh, we call the Center for Blockchain Technologies the CBT. And um, here you can also see right, the logo of UCL, of the CBT, and of Blocksprint, which is kind of our uh, hackathon brand. We started um, with the Blocksprint hackathon a few years ago. And um, um, we are at the CBT and at the Block Sprint team at UCL. Very happy to be here. Also, UCL is part of the Governing Council, as a member of the Governing Council at Hedera. So you can imagine how excited we are to participate in this. And um, I will present our challenge, but maybe let me say a few things about UCL first. It's one of the one of the leading universities uh, in, in the world, in particular in the field of blockchain, has been uh, consistently classified among the top five universities in Europe, the top 10, uh, 20 universities in the world for the most um, important university rankings, such as QS. QS has classified um, UCL at 10th, uh, in the 10th position in the world university rankings for 2021. Um, we've also been ranked at uh, the top university in the UK for research strength in the recent um, most recent research excellence framework, and we have produced uh, several Nobel Prize laureates um, amongst our alumni, our current staff, our former staff, um, and within UCL we have the computer science department, and within the computer science department we have the Center of Blockchain Technologies, which is us. Um, UCL has been rated with the highest performance uh, score in computer science and informatics um, in quality of research uh, for the research excellence framework. Uh, that's 96%. We have an, a master of science in computational, computational finance. And also this year we are launching a master of science in emerging, emerging digital technologies, as well as in financial technology. So that's two new masters. Um, all related to the, the topic at issue. We're also the home uh, for the Center for Doctoral Training in Financial Computing and Analytics, a one of its kind center, as well as the Center for Doctoral Training in AI and Finance. Um, and yeah, to the, to the point, to the most important part, which is the challenge itself, um, I guess we could start with um, the following um, trigger. Every year Deloitte publishes um, a global survey for distributed ledger technologies, uh, highlighting the most innovative, promising, and important concepts of the year. And um, last year, uh, enterprise systems were one such concept and specifically within, uh, within them, uh, digital assets. And this has triggered a lot of research. We're also trying to do more and more research on digital assets and tokenization in particular. Uh, which is another reason, again, why we are so um, invested, we're so interested in what you're going to do in this hackathon. And um, our challenge, we have prepared something specific uh, for tokenization, which is the following. I'm going to read it. It is the best tokenization protocol, which enables asset agnostic tokens to be created, customized, and standardized, accommodating non-standard physical and digital assets. So physical assets such as real estate, fine art, and digital assets such as IP data. Um, you will notice from the challenge text itself that there's an important component and that's the asset agnostic component. Um, so if your protocol would only be able to work for um, real estate, that could be great, but probably not what we're looking for. Um, but then uh, it's, a, it's, an, an, it's a necessary feature, but not the entire thing. We're also looking for the best tokenization protocol. So um, it's probably possible to build something that is asset agnostic if, it's, if it does not do much, if it's a bit generic. Uh, perhaps that's where the challenge within the challenge lies in adding value while keeping it asset agnostic. So we are super, super interested in what you are going to do to solve that, and of course, you're going to face a number of restrictions. We're interested in seeing how you solve those. So how you deal with KYC, with compliance, with the first price, how, um, of course, how you, you're probably going to try to tackle more than one challenge at the same time. So how you, you're trying to create many accounts uh, for HTS. Um, and uh, well, novelty, um, market demand, solving an actual problem, um, the effectiveness with which you're using HDS for the purpose 
that um, you're trying to achieve that will all be uh, valued positively. So yeah, we cannot wait to see what you will be doing. Of course, I'm, I'm sure you will. You um, questions might emerge. You, I am going to leave my contact data at the end of this, but you can also contact our team of mentors. We have three, three incredible mentors have signed up for this. Uh, Lars Gladhog, Nia Raj, and Ricardo Piselli. I don't have the, the username for Ricardo yet, but I'm, uh, it's, you're going to have to find him in Discord. So you can just post your questions in Discord if they are for, for about the HTS, probably Hedera will answer them. If they are more about our challenge, we'll try to do our best to answer them. Um, if you want to contact me instead of the mentors, not a problem, you'll have my email. Uh, I might forward your question to the mentors though, um, because they are better than me and, at answering some of the questions. And our own executive director, Dr. Paolo Tasca will be the judge for the challenge. Uh, but also a minor percentage of the mark will be collect, uh, contributed collectively by the students of our postgraduate class in blockchain technologies. So um, you can see uh, the entire um, institutional interest that we have in what you're going to do. You know the prices, uh, but basically they are uh, 5,000 USD worth of HBAR, as well as a number of non-monetary prices, including a lifetime membership to the UCL CBT industry program, uh, support and help for further development of the application, the chance to present your idea at premier blockchain conferences, introduction to venture capitals, and um, three vouchers to attend the UCL CBT uh, executive programs, and three vouchers to attend the P2P Financial Systems International Workshop, which we had recently, and we're going to have another one, as well as merchandising. So um, I, I, I think that what we're trying to say in a way with, with our prices is we want to support you um, during and after the hackathon because we're really uh, interested in seeing how you uh, perform and what you achieve. Um, so uh, just to, to finalize, you can have here our contact blockchain underscore research at ucl.ac.uk or my own uh, personal email. Um, you have it in the screen. So uh, from the team of UCL CBT and Block Sprint, we are uh, very excited, happy to be here and looking forward to what you're going to do. Um, that would be all.